Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ganesh Ramalingam from GNL Surgical Clinic and today we'll answer the most commonly asked questions on GERD. GERD or G-E-R-D is actually gastroesophageal reflux disease. It's a condition whereby the acid from the stomach moves backwards against the one-way valve of the esophagus and the stomach and allows the acid to come up to the esophagus. The contact of the acid on the esophagus causes a whole range of symptoms and this is called GERD. The most common and well heard of symptom is heartburn where you have this burning sensation around the chest region in the central area. The next less well-known symptoms of GERD are pain in the lower chest, sore throat, cough or even bouts of asthma. The short answer to that is everyone, mainly because I strongly believe that GERD is a social disease. It is affected usually by our diet and our lifestyle. But there are certain individuals who will be even more affected by the, this disease or these symptoms than others. For example, patients who have a defect in their one-way valve between the esophagus and the stomach, sometimes known as hiatus hernia. Patients who are very obese or patients who do very heavy activities that push, increase the pressure downwards, that come up, or people who have bad habits. Bad habits include eating late at night, subsequently large meals and lying flat after that, and taking very acidic foods like heavy doses of coffee, spicy food, alcohol, smoking, and even high doses of vinegar or gassy drinks. These will increase the acidity and the burning sensation one feels when you have reflux. GERD is diagnosed on a basis of the frequency at which you have the symptoms that I've mentioned before. Anytime you have the symptoms more than two times a week is the definition of GERD. Also, these symptoms have to be there for a prolonged period of time and you must have an improvement with medication. Objectively, you can diagnose GERD with a gastroscopy where you put a scope through the mouth under sedation to see the effects of reflux on the lower esophagus and other special tests like a barium swallow where you drink a glass of a contrast and they take simple x-rays of your chest and you can see the contrast move backwards. Gastroesophageal reflux disease is treated by diet and lifestyle change. Of course, level 2, you have medication that will reduce acidity and medication that will help push things in a downward basis and uh, that will help alleviate some of the symptoms but the core of the matter is your diet and lifestyle change and finally if all else fails we also at GNL Surgical have the final solution which is surgery surgery is called the fundoplication where a part of the stomach is wrapped around the lower esophagus this procedure is done laparoscopically or with keyhole surgery So let's start with diet and lifestyle change first. Subsequently, if your symptoms persist, then the alarm bells will start ringing and you have to see a medical practitioner, preferably a general practitioner or us at GNL Surgical for a quick consult to see if there's any other thing you can achieve with a diet and lifestyle change to see if there are medical therapies that are available to you that you have not received before. And most importantly, to make sure that there are no complications of GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease like, for example, severe acid reflux or ulcers at the lower part of the esophagus. Secondly, and worst case scenario is a cancer of the lower esophagus. For more information on GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease, please visit our website or just drop us a line on our email or WhatsApp. Furthermore, if you feel that you want a more personalized service, please book an appointment and you can see me anytime. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope the video was informative to you and I hope to see you at the next video that we produce.